Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to today's topic of the day because it's today and it's the topic we're talking about today. So, what we're speaking about today, what we're going to clarify, if you will, is right here carbs for fat loss? Question mark. Carbs for fat loss. Okay. So, I'm sure that you heard, oh, if you want to lose weight, you know, cut the fat, then carbs are bad. You have to cut all the carbs out. Which is true to an extent, kind of, but not really. You shouldn't cut carbs out. It's bad. So what you want to do, well, what do I do? How do I lose weight if I, I'm not cutting carbs? Well, I'm glad you asked that. And what we're going to do is we're not going to cut carbs. We're just going to switch the type of carbs that we're, we're currently eating. Okay? So what we're going to do, and I'll explain it all in like eight seconds, is what you want to do is keep it with whole grain carbs. So, like whole wheat stuff, or sweet potatoes opposed to regular potatoes. Basically, you want to eliminate all the, the white carbs, if you will, the white foods, like white bread, white rice, white potatoes, and replace them with the whole grain option, or the whole grain variation of it, if you will. And what that's going to do is a few things. Mainly, all right, so what we want to do. So now we switched over from all like the white grains to the whole grain, which is good. We're going in the right direction. Super. And so why we're doing that opposed to just cutting carbs out altogether is, and bear with me here, we need carbs. Your body needs carbs to build muscle. Okay? And everyone's goal, if they're looking to lose weight, everyone's goal should be to pack on 10 pounds of muscle tone. Okay? And don't freak out, we're not 10 pounds of that much, you're not going to be walking around, oh, I'm all big and buff. You know, that's not our goal right here. We're going to, to lean out and for weight loss, for fat loss, essentially. And so, everyone's goal should be to gain 10 pounds of muscle tone. And while we're going to gain 10 pounds of muscle tone, and keep in mind while we're gaining those 10 pounds, we're losing 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 pounds of fat. So we're still going to be way in the green here. But why you want to add 10 pounds of muscle tone, is because for every extra pound of muscle tone that you have, your metabolism is going to burn an extra 50 calories per day. Just sitting there watching YouTube videos of this pretty guy and some cool funny cat stuff. So for every extra pound of muscle tone you have, an extra 50 calories will be burned per day just by you sitting there through the thermogenic effect. Okay, so now 50 calories a day times the 10 pounds of muscle that we, the muscle tone that we gained would be 500 calories a day. So you're going to burn an extra 500 calories per day. Even if you just lay in bed and do nothing. Absolutely nothing all day long. Pretty sweet, right? Pretty sweet deal. <laughs> yeah, it is. And so that's 500 extra calories a day. Seven days in a week. Seven times five is 35. So 3,500 extra calories. And I'm going to do the math here. So, 50 a day times 10 muscles equals 500 calories a day. So, our 500 calories a day times 7 days equals 3,500 calories a week. So, 3,500 extra calories per week you will be burning if you do nothing at all. So you know what that is, right? 3,500 calories equals one pound. So, simply by adding 10 pounds of muscle tone, not only are we going to be losing, you know, getting 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 pounds of fat during that process, but we're going to be boosting our metabolism that much to where we're going to be burning an extra 3,500 calories per week or one pound a week. So we're going to be burning one extra pound of fat per week just because you add an extra 10 pounds of muscle tone. Again, 10 pounds isn't a lot. You're not going to get big and bulky or anything like that. You're going to get lean and cut is what's going to happen from all the extra calories and fat your body's going to be burning, utilizing as energy. So that is why we want to add 10 extra pounds of muscle tone because we're going to be burning off an extra pound of fat a week. And so again, to tie it all together with the carbs, the body needs carbs to produce that muscle tone, that extra 10 pounds of muscle tone that we need. 
And so, cutting carbs out a completely terrible idea. Will you lose weight? Yeah, you'll lose weight. But is it going to be the kind of weight you want to lose? No, not really. Not really. And so, again, to recap, we're going to stay away from the white, the white grains and pastas and stuff and go to the whole wheat version. So whole wheat everything, not the white ones. And then we're going to shoot to add 10 pounds of muscle tone on so that way we can burn an extra pound of calories per week right there. I wrote it and look it. You know it's true because I circled it. So you're going to burn extra pound of fat per week after adding 10 pounds of muscle tone and switching over to the whole grain carbs and pastas and stuff. So whole grains is good. The non whole grains, not good. 10 pounds of muscle tone is good. Equal mucho, mucho fat loss. All right, so there you kind of have it. The whole carbs for fat loss kind of debate right there. Just broken down pretty simple stuff. Now you can start applying this today at your next meal. And before you go, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any other cool stuff we're going to be shooting out your way. And as well as uh, take advantage of the awesome abs challenge workout guide by clicking on the link right below this video. Alright, that's it for today. Go get them and we'll see you next time.